Okay, so timing starts. Hang on, sorry, the third shot. So I'm just gonna. Okay, so. So I have to go and grab Jess from outside. Chikoshi, rather. Uh, okay, so wow. timing will start. Are you all ready? Real name used. <laughs> uh, timing starts in three, two, one, bang. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, bang, So, bang, bang, bang. Time Crisis doesn't really seem like a game that usually lends itself to speedrunning, but there is a pretty decent amount of speedrun tech, which I'll let the opening cutscene play out to talk through, because this game's timed in-game, so it doesn't actually, like, matter. Um, so, the big Five thing minutes. is the next wave of enemies won't so. come in until the animations of all of the uh, enemies that you're shooting you you have here? ended. This Quickest is animation area. is to kill with a headshot. So, Stop aim does there. actually matter. Primarily going to use the machine gun because it's, uh, you don't need to reload it, but it does have finite ammo. The handgun you'll opt for when you just don't really need to like care. Shotgun is good for, it does like five handgun shots basically in a spread. I just shot my uh, partner there. <laughs> so you will notice that you can actually shoot your partner in this, and I think you take a point. Penalty you lose, you for it. Points, you lose yeah, points, you yeah. take a point penalty for it, but you don't lose any lives. Um, it's just more of like if you are chasing a score, that's something you need to be careful of. Um, in general, we are going to want to try to kill them in as many, as few rather, shots as we can, um, because ideally we do want to conserve that ammo. Unless it's the handgun, we can kind of go ham on the handgun. So you go your different enemy types. These green guys are just sort of jobbers. Um, yellow guys will drop ammo, as you saw there. <laughs> And then you've got other enemies that have, uh, like, health. Ah, I did it slow. Uh, yeah. Enemies will have more, like, the, the bigger enemies, like the elite soldiers, will have, like, a bit more health. This is an auto-scroller. I'm just going to let it play. Um, yeah, like, you can shoot them here, but yeah. I don't think you really get shot because there aren't any red guys through here, are there? No, no. there aren't. So the red yeah. guys are the ones that are actually scary. They will actually mm. shoot back at you, and they do have pretty good aim as well. Yes, so the red ones are generally the most high threat enemies and they're pr pretty much just going to go straight for the kill as soon as they can. Yep. Um, so you want to get rid of them first, prioritize the red guys, then if you want some ammo you can hit the yellow guys, or is it the blue guys? It's the yellow guys, isn't it? Yellow guys are ammo, yeah. The yellow guys are ammo, the blue guys are, what do they do again? Uh, they throw projectiles, like missiles. Yeah, uh, that's missiles the one. I can also shoot this turret gun, that's how <coughs> awesome. I can shoot it from back here and get it pretty low. Mm. We can start to um, just like take down that ammo, uh, <laughs> ammo, <laughs> help slowly yeah. um, from afar, and that'll make it a little bit easier once we get there. It'll already have a little bit of chipped health chip down, and we go from there. So yeah, these guys are the projectile guys. You can see already that they're coming in with some big missiles yeah, there. Knives and, and rockets. Yeah, and they'll push. throw some stuff at us. Uh, I'm very low on uh, machine gun ammo, so I'm just gonna save with uh, the shotgun there. Bang. Bang. Nice. So there are going to be times too when we want to use that little grenade launcher yeah, weapon that we have. Yeah, grenade launcher is yeah. Like, it only has five shots, but it clears out rooms really, really quickly. Mm. Yeah. So it's great if you really just need to take out a large yeah. portion of enemies in a really quick, like, short amount I'm of time. To, I'm about to use, like, two of them. Yeah, yeah. let's go. We're about uh, to see some demonstration. Okay, so I actually found the setup with audio related, so I just need a bit of silence. Yep. Nice. So if you do like three, like duck in and out there, that's when the car rocks up. I did it a little bit late. Yeah, but you can time it with audio cues. That's why we just were a little bit quiet yeah. there. Um, there are a few instances where you can actually know when something is coming by the audio. So there will be moments here and there where we kind of just like go quiet. <laughs> it's totally normal. We're actually just listening for an audio cue so that we know who to hit and when. Uh, background obstacles as well, you can shoot. You might have noticed there was a, like, a bridge that I could have shot barrels at in the first stage, and I chose not to. Um, that was a decision because it's actually slower to shoot the bridge. Mm. Um, in that case, I got to shoot that barrel there because it is actually way quicker to just shoot the barrel. 
Yep, and so these enemies are just gonna, sometimes the, you'll have like a static screen like this, and other times you'll have a moving screen. Um, you can see Sire is making his way through this screen and trying to clear out as many of the, the high threat enemies as possible first, and then kind of getting all the fodder afterwards. Because the green guys don't really give us anything, they're just kind of like normal enemies. Yeah, they, they'll shoot you very, very rarely. Mm. And they're pretty low threat as well, they will very rarely hit you, if at all. Yeah. They need some more training, I think. Yeah, we can yeah. We yeah. a bunch of ammo uh, coming up as well, so you can kind of not really care about ammo yeah. up until this stage. We get a nice little restock coming up. Oh, that was a bit slow. I found that if, you, uh, if you're actually pre-firing enemies, sometimes just don't spawn. Yeah. Uh, until you stop shooting. I think it was to stop cheaters. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Because people would then memorize yeah, the sequence, yeah. right? That's yeah. I, that's what I was trying to do, but I couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, they had that anti-cheat. Yeah. <laughs> anti-cheat technology already. Apex needs a bit of that. <laughs> All right. So we are going to make our way through here. A couple little obstacles, but we do finish the stage nice and clean. Really 215 time. is very good. Really good time. Yeah, very nice. Is that first boss? Yeah. You are finished. I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> So this one is a bit of a funny fight. We do have a couple of different components to fight first. So we take out some of the guns and then we'll move around. Yeah, and then the, the cars have a terrible safety mechanism where yeah. if the driver dies, the car just explodes. Yeah, so we aim for the driver. If we can get rid of the driver quick enough, then the car will just then no longer be a threat. Yeah. Like, you don't actually need to kill the car itself, just the driver. No, 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 but you know what I mean. That would be... The car with two people in it, rather than the one... <laughs> that was, like, how the cars worked. The car just, like, pulls out if, all these if, guns. Yeah, if the driver <laughs> dies, you just explode. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I would hope not. It sounds terrifying. No one would drive, then. It's too risky. Okay, these guys are actually super important, so I need their grenades. Got them both. Yeah, That's perfect. very nice. That's a lot of ammo there. Yeah. And so all throughout the run, audio. oh, audio. Apologies, there. Yeah, so I time it with his laugh because that's when he becomes yeah. like available. Because the grenades actually do have like a delay. There's some like travel time. Yeah. And once he comes out, that's when we can start to. That's like the actual boss of yeah. the fight. So that's the one we want to take out. We want to prioritize where possible. Um, there will be other things around him, but we do want to prioritize the big guy with the big gun. Get some more ammo there, which is really good. Very nice. Uh, he's gonna pop out here as well. I get to shoot him a bit more. Yep, there we go. If I'm slow, he'll shoot me back. Yeah, he shot me Very back. Very nice. Uh, that's fine though. He will. I'm up with a turret oh. as well now, a mini gun. Yeah, here we go. That's the big gun. Shoot his right foot, he never comes <laughs> with his right foot. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. It's always kind of popping out. Yeah. With this boss too, you'll kind of notice that like he is gonna do a whole bunch of different things. So he's gonna. I just tried to dodge that, and I don't know why. I, do that as well. I, I was just like, like, oh! Because like, uh, like, like, I was just about to start talking about the dodging. Yeah. Um, the guys in the arc yeah. Oh, one seven is, well, seven is very good. Full, like running with the gun. Like, <laughs> going crazy. Like, I wish I was like that. But I don't have to, My name is Alicia. I'm with Lucano Liberation <laughs> Army. My brother, our men were kidnapped. <laughs> I'm totally not like <laughs> breaking his cover. <laughs> yeah, so you will notice that Sire is actually, as I was ducking, I was actually going to start talking about how you can duck and hide behind cover. You yeah. can take cover throughout the game. Um, so when Sire does want to shoot, he will pop out of cover. And then when he wants to make sure that he's not getting attacked, you'll notice that when you first load into a screen, they actually load in in cover. And then you can pop out. You have to actually press a button to pop out of cover and then start attacking. So that's what we do to make sure that we don't take damage. Yeah. Um, sometimes we do miss, um, you know, but that's all part of the learning process, you know? Not for me, I'm gonna do this run hitless. Yeah, exactly, he's about to do it. No hit run, yeah, let's go. I'll be the next cartridge in the SDA. <laughs> this one has some funny angles in it, so yeah. it's sometimes a little bit hard to, friendly. yeah. If you saw my run at, uh, uh, ASM 2022, uh, I was playing as Alan, this time yeah. I am playing as Wesley, just to mix it up. See, I was going to ask you that on the way here, yeah. and I had forgotten to ask you they have who we're playing as. different angles, basically. Yeah. Uh, how many grenades do I have? Two, perfect. All right, good. So I get to clear this wave super quick. We don't want two grenades coming up to a specific section. 
Um, it's very, very important to have two grenades specifically coming out. I'm going to get another one, so that's why I'm okay to have one yeah. grenade. Um, well, assuming I actually get it. And yeah, so throughout the entire run, Sire is managing his ammo. You'll notice him saying things like, oh, I got more ammo there, or I'm a little bit low on this. Yeah. That's because we actually do have to manage the ammo. Otherwise, if we run out for pivotal, yeah, it's pretty dire. When we get to certain boss sections, or like even like areas where we might need a grenade to clear out an area really quickly, sometimes that can slow us down, or it can be as devastating as like taking too many hits to a boss. All right, we're coming up to the section where Ha! Your, um, nice dodge. Your two grenades are super important. It's this <laughs> section here. Nice. Very nice. So there's like 10, 15 enemies there. It's so slow to take out without grenades. Yeah. So ideally, you don't want to take it out with regular ammo because um, that just will be time lost, unfortunately. But thankfully, we did it. I'm a fast boy. I'm the fast boy. <laughs> <laughs> Not Sonic the Hedgehog, though. You're not Sonic. Well, no, he's the fastest hedgehog alive. I'm the fastest boy alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to make our way down through here. We're shooting upside down, which is something I didn't know Wesley could do. I don't think you're allowed to do that. I don't think that's legal. Um, this that's not allowed. Sucks. I don't know why they take cover in, like, this center little <laughs> thing. <laughs> it's, like, possibly uh, the worst cover you, you could are, take. You are so out in the open, and you've just got floats on motorbikes, just got the full drop on you and everything. It's also so easy to shoot your partner in that section yeah. too, like we just did then. Um, I think if you're playing right. co-op, uh, they actually lose a life. Oh, right. Yeah, that would make sense. Thankfully, we're not playing co-op. We're not losing any lives. But so far, so good. This section is really annoying, though, because the motorcycles all move uh -huh. really fast. Yeah, I got the slow. He yeah. loops back around. It's a lot quicker. That yeah. three, three sucks. Um, usually meant to get that under three. I mean, the other ones were <laughs> the other ones were good though, so yeah, we're good. finding some balance. Good. Yeah, there's yeah, perfectly balanced as all things should be. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now this section, I think we start to get a couple more, like the knife projectile guys yeah, from memory. Long, yeah. Yep. So there's a guy coming out with a bazooka. Uh, I'm super long machine gun ammo. All right, I'm so we're gonna need to conserve some ammo here. Ah. Oh, oh no! We took a hit. I dumped. Oh. Well, I thought you had I'm it. No, I'm no longer like Cassie. No, but that's all right. We can't all be Cassie. I wish we could, but we can't. <laughs> um, shotgun here is good. All right, so we are going to try to get some of these guys popping out from behind the trees. They are a little bit annoying, and they <laughs> pop up so close as well. Yeah, they're like right up in your grill. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really need more ammo. Right, I'm going to have to take some time loss here to use the handgun instead. That's all right. So we are going to grab a little bit of extra ammo. Good shot. Might take a little bit longer, but we need it. Yeah, so see how I shot them in the foot? They died super slow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you don't want that, basically. Yes. Yeah, ideally we want to shoot them in the head because that's the, the most damage that yeah, they'll take. Finish them with a headshot at the very least. Yeah. Because that way, if we can do it in the least amount of shots, we're also conserving ammo there, too. Very nice. Yeah, these guys suck. They pop up right in your face. Yeah. Swiping at you. Oh, yes, yes. It's the claw guys. Good grenades. Thank God. Very nice. Very nice. So the grenades we use for the... Is it the boss fight yeah, from boss memory? Fight. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to say that I'm shoot the barrel. It is like one second slower, I think, to shoot the barrel. But right. I need the ammo. Yeah. Um, for this section, because there's a bunch of enemies. That was good. That was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Couple of good ammo drops here as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hideously low. It's fine. It's all right. Uh, I don't need the machine gun, really, so I can spare some machine gun shots. Oh, we got some shotgun ammo, though. That's good. These guys, too, with the claws, they also move really fast. And you'll notice that they actually they jump around the screen, and they slowly, slowly jump closer to you until they just get up in your face and go, yeah. bah! They're very annoying. So we want to take out those pretty quickly. The best way to do that is with the shotgun. 
But they can actually also hit us pretty easily, these ones. I'm a little low on grenades, actually. I thought I had enough grenades, but I guess I don't. Mm. Uh, that's fine. There's a couple of other boss fights where we also need to pay attention to the sequence. Um, we'll get to that, though, shortly when we actually yeah. get there. That one's a, that's a tricky one. Here. Oh, <laughs> That's actually quite... Well... Considering I have to take a lot of time concessions, 303 on that. That's a good 303. Good. Yeah. Nice. Ah, uh, yes, the train. The train sequence. Yeah, this train... We uh, do get a bit of ammo on yeah, here, though. Yeah, we get a ton of <coughs> ammo straight away. Straight away. Whoa, 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 whoa. I tried to dodge that one, too. These guys are so annoying. Yeah, they just, like, zip around. They're very hard to hit. Uh, but we get pumped with ammo, so it's fine. Yeah. So the good thing is we are picking up quite a bit of ammo here. So that means that we should be able to stock up most of our reserves. And hopefully get what we need to be able to take out the next couple of bosses. And the projectiles are annoying because you don't get the you don't get the same warnings that you do for yeah. like when you're getting shot at. Yeah. So sometimes if you don't if you actually miss the sound cue for the projectile, you can get hit with it. So that's one thing to be careful of when oh. we're uh, playing through this one. So the the level will stop when the most recent wave has been cleared. So I want to kind of time it properly. I think I was a little slow. No, I'm good. Okay, that was yeah. Good. If you get the time warning, that's how you know you've done it slow. All right, this is, we're getting close to the guy where we actually have to pay attention to the way that he jumps. And we actually, we wait in certain areas. Yeah, the, the boss has yeah. a very particular sort of pattern, yeah. uh, which I'll go through. I call him Genesis, because he looks like Genesis. He does look uh, like Genesis. FF7. There's actually some ammo drops from some yeah. falling guys here as well. Nice, I got the grenades. Just gotta shoot, need. yeah, nice, that's good. Whoa, okay. Ooh. That didn't happen like I thought it would. Okay. So, I'm going to actually need to concentrate for a moment. Yep. So, I will request some silence from Chikochi. Okay, I have a very specific uh, grenade shot to hit here. No! How did I miss that? Yeah, you can skip this phase of him running around up top. Ah! Damn. Yeah, this is super annoying to shoot there, as you can probably see. Uh, so, you can normally skip that phase. Uh, but I didn't. Because I mucked it up. Nice. But the rest of the fight went well. Yeah. Ah, the rest of the fight was pretty good, so that was okay. But yeah, yeah. Him you can. Up yeah. Up there, that will do some serious damage. So, it's like usually you shoot there and you take out some HP there, and then yeah. you wait a little bit for him to jump around. Alicia! Alicia! Alicia. You right? <laughs> and then you shoot him at a certain point, right? So you yeah. w there's like a portion where you wait, even though he's out and you can shoot him, it's actually easier to wait until he stops Yeah, you from sort of memory. Like, yeah, you, you skip certain phases just by, yeah. um, by like actually not hitting him in, in the points where he like makes himself available. Yeah. Nice, got my machine gun ammo back, got more machine gun ammo, that's really good. Mm. Um, this level is very difficult. This one is a little bit finicky because there's lots of like kind of weird hidden enemies yeah. and things like that. And so also tanks as well, which yeah. is really suck to, yeah. to deal with. Oh. Oh. Whoa. He was right up in your face. Um, I'm fine on ammo now, though, at least. Yeah. Yeah, that particular red guy was difficult to hit because he was right up in your face and he did Damn, multiple he? shots in the face. I actually lose no time for that, though, because <laughs> the entire continue animation happened during the yeah, during the yeah. stage. While the tank was, like, dying. <laughs> Very uh, nice. I don't have much uh, grenade ammo, so I might have to not use grenade yeah. this next second. Might have to hold it. Yeah. All right, we did get a little bit back though. Nice. Okay, I got, I got plenty of grenades. Good, good, good. Yep. Um, there's some, yeah, some like hidden ammo drops that you can get, which are just annoying. Mm. Uh, this part's a little bit tricky as well, just because of the the things in the way. Yeah. I'm just gonna let Sai focus They're for a second. Also jumping around like jerks. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Mm. 
Oh, yeah, I got plenty. Take that out. I'm gonna let this cutscene play. It's yeah. my favorite one. It is a good cutscene. The guy that comes Whoa. out. Whoa! Don't you ever die? <laughs> Wild dog! Wild dog? Don't you ever die? <laughs> That's me. That's me laughing. Excuse <laughs> my Wild thing! You! <laughs> the box kicking is so funny. I love this box. This is one of my favorite bosses because these two are so goofy. They're also like not very strong. <laughs> no, they're not too difficult to fight. They do tend to get up in your face and just like, it's pretty clear when they're gonna hit you. They'll just like kick the boxes and you'll get like a danger warning or the other guy brings out, I think it's a it's a big gun. Yeah, yeah he's got a big gun. And he's, he's got like a Barrett, Gatling gun. He's like Barrett. Damn. Well dog. Don't you ever die? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's a... Wait. He changed it out for a flamethrower just now. Yeah. My God. I didn't realize he did that. Barrett can't do that. No, Barrett can't do that. All right, let's switch to... He's got a leg up on I'm Barrett. A little bit further away now. The shotgun's not quite as good. Yeah. So you will notice too that we do swap our weapons at times depending on the situation. So even on the same enemy, sometimes we might use the machine gun, sometimes we might use the shotgun. Depending on the placement of the enemies, it just means we can either hit more or do more damage depending. Oh. That was fine. Yep. Uh, I need to be very particular with grenades uh, coming up to this next section. Yep. Um, and I do need some audio as well. I just need to make sure the grenades are hitting both of them. Mm. Which, if you delay the shot, it will hit both. Yep, that was both. You can hear their, uh, like, death sound yeah. play at the same time. They do, like, a little laugh thing. Yeah. It's great. I don't know what they're so happy about. they masochists, you know? <laughs> that was good. I have no grenade ammo, though, so this next phase is going to be a little bit annoying. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh. There we go, he's down. Oh, that was actually really good. Yeah. That was not too bad. That was quite good, yeah. Yeah. Considering I had not very many grenades. Yeah. Wild Beaten dog. by a couple of young punks. Yeah, there we go. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, 330 died. Yeah. Um, so this next stage is kind of slow Golden and right not there. really much going on. So if we have any donations or any reads that we need to do from our lovely ladies, we, we do indeed. Yay! All right. Uh, just following on from last night's donation, we've got eight dollars from Jalou Bread. It says went back and checked the number of deaths from my run. Turns out I slightly underestimated. Here's the remainder of the for the 148 deaths. Please put this one towards Beetlemon. And then we've got fifty dollars from Adon anonymous, anonymous, anonymous. <laughs> And then we've got $15 from Nays, which says fastest boy, more like slowest boy. Aha, uh -huh, just yanking your chain, mate. All in good fun. Cheers. Enjoy. <laughs> wow, Sio, yeah. get wrecked. Nays, just that. You're dirt bike champion. By the way, while I've got you, could I uh, get back that copy of Shrek 2 on VHS that you lent me with this? <laughs> <laughs> it never ends. I love Nays, <laughs> Jenna. Oh, goodness. That's all the donations we got, unless you want me to give you a little quick read about who yeah, we are. Yeah, absolutely. Please do. All right. So just in case anybody wasn't aware, we are Oz Speedruns, a group doing speedrun events to change to change money, to raise the money world. for change charity. Money. <laughs> for this event, we're raising money to for Game On money. Cancer and changing money as well. It's to change money from being yours to Game On Cancer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a charity which funds early cancer. Uh, early career cancer researchers who are working across all areas of cancer research. If you'd like to donate, you can go to donate.ozspeedruns.com. That's all we've got. We do have a couple of incentives coming up. Uh, what are we currently at at the moment? So, but it's Spyro Year of the Dragon. We've got Digimon Battle Spirit 2, which is coming up next, which is pick the character. So if you'd like to have a say in who uh, Raikou will be playing, go ahead and let me know what you if you want to put your donations towards that. Otherwise, back to you guys. Is it Raikou or is it Aeon Frodo? Oh, wait, it is Amber. Why did I say Raikou? I think well, Digimon and I yeah, think Raikou. Raikou, Raikou is Digimon boy. <laughs> it yeah. is. I, I correct myself. It is Aeon Frodo. That is yeah. correct. Raikou is synonymous yeah, with Digimon, it, though. <laughs> You're just more focused than I am. I'm locked in, man. <laughs> Sorry, Aeon. I love you. <laughs> 
Raikou heard that from across the venue. <laughs> Raikou's running Raikou over right now. He's like, huh? what? What am I doing? I'm gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to the game. So, we're in a library. Let's do a little recap of this story. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those who don't know, my, my usual gig, I'm actually like a primarily a JRPG speedrunner, um, and uh, Choco is as well, and we were just talking about, like, last night about how, like, marathon speedruns of JRPGs are really funny, because, like, when you're in this, like, 20 minute long cutscene and you sort of have a lull in, like, the commentary, the natural instinct is to just start talking about the story and yeah. recapping the story. Yeah. So but here like, no we're running. Following a it. No following <laughs> it. Yeah. Like, okay. Who's who's watching a speed run for the story? I'm sorry. Dude. <clears throat> sorry. He okay. really went in for the kill fast there. I get my poo pushed in by this boss. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So this boss here is pretty finicky. He will run around and do a whole yeah, bunch of different things. Boss. This is yeah, it's our final boss for one. Um, but also this guy he does a whole bunch of different. Abilities, you can see he also has a sword on him. So he does do the close-up attacks he'll get in your face. He'll also shoot from afar. Um, but his precision is pretty good for the most part. So you'll notice that yeah, you do get a lot of the the warning signals to let you know that he is shooting at you and you will lose a life um, quite frequently. So I don't have a grenade that I need somehow. Do you get so one in this I level? So. We will manage. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. He's going. Oh, there's oh there it is. There it is. Okay. I thought you did. No, I missed him. That's all right. That's fine. Okay. The reason I need a grenade is because a massive amount of enemies are going to come out here. Yeah. And we want to take them out all in one go. And I'm breaking nice. TVs as well. Uh, yeah. Maximum property damage. Yeah. you got to smash up as much as you can when you in infiltrate they're an enemy base. They shouldn't have exactly. enough Exactly. We need to destroy them. Yeah. you got to destroy their things when you're in there. I'm the good guy. <laughs> Even though I'm shooting everyone, I'm the good guy. <laughs> um, so there's like a there's a section where this catwalk is going to descend. I actually found out the fastest way to do this. Just we just hang. Nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna have a sleep now. No, we don't. We don't do that. <laughs> but <laughs> now, oh, wake up! <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> So I'm gonna use my last grenade here. Got it. Very nice. Definitely low on ammo right now. Yeah. Struggling for ammo. Uh, this should be fun. All right, so time is on the last shot of the final boss. Get yep. ready on it. I will let you know when it is. This guy scares me. And time. Very nice. Nice. So what was that? Only one continue and like two hits? That was actually quite good. Um, yes. Yeah, I made the mistakes. I had to bring my CRT in from, from home. I <laughs> dropped off the CRT at the convention center on Friday so I could get tagged and tested. And then I went home and I'm like, right, time to practice time. What? Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, had to log it back this morning. I did get plenty of practice, but I wish I could yeah. a little bit more. <laughs> but that, yeah. that's my mistake. Ah, uh, right. Let's see what the final time is. Have a geese. 23. Well, actually that's quite pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah. Really happy with that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, in Very game nice. time, though, of course, uh, real time would be a little bit slower. Little time. Yeah, real time is 27.20. T-G-S. Woo! Shout out to the Game Expo. Thank you all speedruns for having me as always. I know I have this big complicated setup with a CRT. It looks like the thing's on life support, honestly. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> million cables coming out of this thing. Uh, thanks to Ospeed Runs for always being super accommodating for the light gun stuff um, and to me and my nonsense. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, uh, if you do like Time Crisis, it is a bit of a hardware investment because you've got to grab the CRT and everything and, and the, the hardware. But um, the community is awesome. Uh, people like Multi Brawler um, keeping the scene alive, they're, they're awesome. Um, and yeah, aside from that, thank you, Chikochi. Um, and sorry, I was a little bit late. I had to go and grab Chikochi from outside. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me as yeah. well. It was a bit Thanks of a last-minute changeover, so... Thanks for, um, uh, yeah. and everything for, for, for having me on. Uh, Thanks for having aside us. Aside from that, though, I'm going to get out of here and let Gala do her thing.